For years, people have told tales of monsters like Bigfoot, Loch Ness, aliens, but few have heard about this monster right here, which terrorized an entire military base before vanishing into thin air on August 12th, 1983. In this video, I want to tell you the legendary tale of how this monster came to be and what actually happened on the infamous day that this photo was snapped. But I will warn you, this story is shrouded in more conspiracy than fact because this story is so crazy that it actually inspired the show Stranger Things. And it all starts with Preston B. Nichols, who had put out a book he wrote called The Montauk Project Experiments in Time, where he detailed his involvement as the assistant project director for a series of experiments that happened on a military base near Long Island. He also detailed the numerous paranormal incidents that he personally witnessed during his time there. And for you to fully grasp the scope of The Montauk Project, we have to rewind a little bit to 1943 when something happened called the Philadelphia Experiment. Now, the purpose of the experiment was to figure out a way to make ships invisible to enemy radar, and the technology being used used was rumored to be engineered by Nikola Tesla and Einstein. Unfortunately, the experiment ended in catastrophe because when they fired up the experiment, not only did it make the ship invisible to radar, it also made it invisible to the naked eye, and it did this by removing it entirely from the space-time continuum. What's even crazier is when this happened, the ship unexplainably teleported from Philadelphia to Norfolk, Virginia, about 300 miles away before returning back to Philadelphia. And when it returned, the crew of the ship was completely disoriented, some of them were actually fused to the walls of the ship itself, and some had actually rematerialized inside out. A lot of the survivors, they ended up going completely insane because on their trip outside of our known universe, it caused them to lose their sense of reality. One of the reasons they went nuts, human beings need the electromagnetic background of the Earth. For obvious reasons, this was immediately covered up by the government, but this technology was still very valuable for certain groups within the military. The experiment worked, but it also literally destroyed the mind of the men on the ship. So it was a success, but it was also a failure. So the Philadelphia experiment and all the research behind it was actually continued under a different name known as the Phoenix Project, and it was led by Dr. John von Neumann, a German mathematician who was one of the key scientists on the Manhattan Project that invented the nuclear bomb that dropped on Hiroshima. He was actually interested in studying the psychological phenomenon that they witnessed. The mind of man is electromagnetic and that can be influenced by electromagnetic fields from the outside. In other words, maybe there was a way to control human minds. Congress said no, 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 they don't want it. Congress immediately gave the orders to shut down the project in 1969 because they were afraid that if this was true, then we wouldn't want these weapons used against us. So that's when Dr. Newman picked up shop and actually moved to an abandoned military base in Montauk, New York to continue these projects without congressional oversight with the support of the US military. Hence the now new name, the Montauk Project. 